This is Volkswagen's new ID Buzz in all its production spec glory. Funky, isn't it? Now, a couple of weeks before it was unveiled to the world, we got to drive a rather cool looking prototype of the Buzz and make a quick video with it. So, here it is. Welcome to a grey day in Milton Keynes, but perhaps the most colourful camouflage vehicle I've ever seen. This is the new ID Buzz. Obviously, it's hard to see it under all this, but I think if they released it with this as an option, I think people are speculating. I think it's really cool. Down the front design reminds me a little bit of the Grumpy Cat, though. Overall, though, this is really cool. I know this is not what we normally do on car affection, but there's something about this that's that's really quite intriguing. And I remember I put a van up on my Instagram last year. People loved it, went mad for it, much more so than supercars. So we thought we'd cover this. So this is obviously based on the MEB platforms. I think ID3, ID4. We've got a skateboard architecture under here, and we've got 77 kilowatt hour battery in this version there will obviously be all sorts of other versions in the future sending power to a 150 kilowatt motor in the rear powering the rear wheels and that's what, 201 brake horsepower 310 newton meters so 229 pounds foot of torque it's good for 90 miles an hour overall and they haven't given a range but if you think of sort of the id4 with the same um, battery pack and motor in it then that they say so 310 miles on the wltp so yeah make of that what you will in terms of range pricing we haven't got that yet that'll be released later this year it's going to be on sale in the uk and europe this year it'll be coming to america later in 2024 and of course this is a short wheelbase version there'll be a long wheelbase version with about uh, 25 centimeters longer wheelbase and that's what will be available in the united states you also won't get the cargo version out there because of the chicken tax but in europe we get this which is the five seat version so two rows of seats and we'll also get the cargo version which is three seats in the front and then obviously all the room in the back enough for two euro pallets Obviously, with this being an EV, they've managed to push the wheels right out to the edge. So in terms of the dimensions, it's actually 20 centimetres shorter than a T6.1 van. But the wheelbase at nearly three metres is almost identical. So it's got sliding rear doors here. This is the five seat version, so two rows of seats. But you can have the ID Buzz Cargo, which is the, the van, basically, with three seats along the front and then all the load space in the rear. In terms of charging, that's flap here. We've got bi-directional charging now, so it means it can give the power back out again, as well as taking it in. And there's um, plug and charge on this as well, which is something which sounds, well, like it's, it's finally catching up with what people actually need. So you don't have all sorts of different systems where you've got to swipe a card here or sort of log into that particular app. Just plug it in, it recognizes the car, and then charges you through an account. Sounds good to me. Right, I think we should go for a drive. So we can't show you the interior of this at the moment because it is disguised. Of course, now the interior has been unveiled, we can show you what it looks like. It looks like this. But you can probably tell there are sort of a lot of similarities with the rest of the um, ID family. We've got a big 12.1 inch touchscreen up here and there are, I think, up to seven USB-C ports littered all the way around this cabin. It is, well, very easy to drive, just like any other ID product, I suppose. It's slightly different, actually, to other vans that I've driven, and I have driven quite a lot of vans in my life, weirdly, because the windscreen's that much further away than you'd be used to. You can see we've got these sort of quarter lights up here and normally you'd expect the windscreen to be just here and you feel sort of right over the nose you still do feel like that you have a i always quite like the feeling you get in vans because it sort of feels like what most suvs or mpvs are trying to achieve in terms of their sort of you know, driving position and this just does it better somehow the other thing i'd say that's sort of quite 
unusual really for this sort of vehicle is, is actually the performance because obviously we've got all that torque there and it feels really very nippy. The initial surge obviously tails off but it gets up speed nice and quickly. There's a pleasantly rear driven feeling to it as well. I think anyone used to sort of well short gearing in vans and sort of having to change gear lots or sort of being um, a little bit sluggish perhaps will be pleasantly surprised by driving an ID buzz. Obviously with the skateboard architecture you don't get the sort of well the top heavy feeling that you're perhaps more used to in a van it does feel surprisingly flat through the corners and actually it's something I noticed with the ID3 but I don't feeling quite so much with this. There was a sort of slightly curious thing where you have all the center of gravity down low but you're sitting up high so you're away from the center of gravity which is not something you'd generally expect with an internal combustion engine car but it feels I think slightly more natural in this. The one dimension in which this is bigger than uh, T6.1 is in terms of its width so it's, it's just under two meters wide this now but it still feels fairly easy to place as you expect from this sort of vehicle it's, it's n easy to see or know exactly where all the corners are despite having to have this extra sort of panel there visibility is generally very good around the little mini roundabouts you can feel what an awful lot of lock this has got on it so the turning circle is around about 11 meters so it should be pretty wieldy this is on the 20 inch wheel so you can go down to an 18 inch wheel or up to a 21 inch wheel. We've got some fairly hefty speed bumps here and actually it feels pretty good over them. The ride is something that certainly stands out, it really does ride very well. Also I think anyone used to vans and quite a bit of NVH will be pleasantly surprised in an ID Buzz. It's lovely and quiet in here, really very refined. There are lots of things that we don't know about this at the moment, range being one of them, but if you look at an ID4 with a similar sort of battery pack and powertrain in it, then that's about 310 miles of range um, on the WLTP cycle, so draw conclusions from that as you will. There we are then. A brief, but rather interesting test drive actually. We've had a little bit of everything in there, a bit of dual carriageway, a bit of country road bit of town and village driving. It's impressive. I think the biggest thing is just how refined it is, how good the ride is and how nice and quiet it is in here. You'd expect that obviously because it's an EV but actually the, the NVH in terms of the road noise and that sort of thing is been really well suppressed. VW has admitted that this is the most emotional EV that they've produced yet. Which seems curious really, I mean this is meant to be a utilitarian sort of vehicle but I certainly understand that. It to me has more character than an ID3 or an ID4 and that got me wondering will people actually start to look at this perhaps in the same way that they look at a Land Rover Defender itself a utilitarian vehicle originally and start using this well more for family life. I mean after all It'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? Fit the family in there, lots more space in it, and it's just cool, isn't it? It'll be interesting to see. Look forward to a long drive at some point in the future. There we are then. Could the buzz set off a trend that steers people away from SUVs and into vehicles like this? I rather hope so. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you'd like to know some more about the ID Buzz, just head over to CNET. There's a link in the description. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time.